हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम्स डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज रमनदीप सिंह सो फॉर बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर एग्जाम 2023 टुडे वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग रिपीटेड क्वेश्चंस आज इन द मार्केटिंग सेक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर द क्वेश्चंस प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट समझा के हम आगे चलेंगे माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री कॉर्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम फॉर डॉट कॉम सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ प्रॉपर क्रैश कॉर्स सो प्रॉपर क्रैश कॉर्स इज देयर फॉर बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर एग्जाम प्रॉपर वीडियो क्लासेस नोट्स क्विजेज इन द टेस्ट सीरीज आर अवेलेबल इन दिस कॉर्स टेक अ प्रॉपर डेमो एंड ज्वाइन द फुल कॉर्स ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम ऑल द लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द बैकवर्ड एंड द फॉरवर्ड इंटीग्रेशन so forward integration means give a look to the diagram forward integration means you are moving towards the customers you are moving towards the customers what is backward integration you are moving towards the suppliers you are moving towards the suppliers that is what that is backward integration let's assume you are a coaching institute you are a coaching institute okay uh the name of your institute is abc you are having 200 institutes so you need to provide study material to your student so you bought a printing press so you are doing backward integration okay that is backward integration a coaching institute buying a printing press to print their own study material that is backward integration <coughs> what is forward integration moving towards the customers what is that moving towards a customers a lot of good examples are there so uh, let's take a good example of uh, again the coaching institute so coaching institute is providing advertisements on a magazine let's say abc is providing the is giving their advertisement on uh, uh, newspaper a competitive exam newspaper compa- uh, competition 360 so comp 360 so the major source of their revenue is competition 360 they are providing them a lot of student bahut sara student yahan se aa raha hai so abc institute actually acquired the competition 360 so that is what that is uh, forward integration so a simple example of coaching institutes if they are buying if they are moving towards suppliers to to grow that is backward integration if the merger or the acquisition is towards the customers मार्केटिंग के लिए परचेज किया कंपटीशन 360 सिक्सटी दैट इज द फॉरवर्ड इंटीग्रेशन ओके इजी एग्जाम्पल देन वॉट इज हॉरिजोंटल इंटीग्रेशन ऑल दीज आर वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन ये सारी जो टाइप्स हैं फॉरवर्ड बैकवर्ड वट इज बैलेंस यूर यू आर ऑल द यू नो इंटीग्रेशन दैट यू आर डूइंग इज इन अ बैलेंस्ड वे ओके यू आर ऑल्सो डूइंग बैकवर्ड एंड ऑल्सो डूइंग द फॉरवर्ड सो दैट इज ऑल दीज आर द फॉर्म्स ऑफ वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन दीज आर फॉर्म्स ऑफ vertical vertical integration then what is horizontal integration so you are uh, let's say uh, you are an oil company right and you are buying another oil company to increase your market share that is horizontal integration that is horizontal integration they are in the same process they are doing the same job let's say the bpcl the bpcl let's say if they are buying hp to increase their market share that is which kind of uh, integration that is horizontal integration okay so let me just hide myself now just check uh, the basis of the comparison so i already told you when the two firms are selling the same product they are at the same stage of production right that is horizontal and if they are at different stages of production uh then they are at vertical integration the objective of horizontal integration is to increase the market size and of the vertical integration the goal is to strengthen the supply chain reduce the cost okay the capital requirement may be lower right the strategy is to control the whole industry in the horizontal integration the strategy is to capture more market share so this is the basic difference between horizontal and vertical integration give a look to the questions four five questions that i have prepared on this particular topic so which type of merger we are talking about involving a firm in the same business at same stage of production we are talking about horizontal integration so if hpcl 
uh, HPCL is uh, buying out uh, Indian oil, right? They are both of these companies are having petrol pumps, right? They're petrol marketing companies. So that would be horizontal integration, okay? that would be horizontal integration. So involving a firm in a totally unrelated business, there is no relation that would be conglomerate integration. So let's say if Reliance Industries is actually in Reliance Industry, Reliance Industry, they bought Imbibe. This is an ad tech company. Okay. So that is an conglomerate integration. No business ke saath ko lena dena nahi ad tech ke. But still, Geo bought Imbibe. Towards the customers. Towards customers, if an integration has been done towards customers, so that would be forward vertical integration. I already told you in the previous slides that it, that is forward vertical integration towards raw material supplier that is backward vertical integration okay so ends of matrix this is an important concept students so if you want to um, you know increase your market share if you want to increase your sales right so you are either you will go to the if you are you know trying to increase your uh, sales by selling your products in the existing market and you are taking the same product up same product ko same market may sale karne ki koshish kar rahe ho apni sale badhane ki koshish kar rahe ho that is market penetration strategy and if you are bringing new product in the existing market that would be product development strategy new product in the existing market tech market that would be a product development strategy for example the maggi Maggi is there, Nestle has Maggi. So under the brand name Maggi, they, they have Maggi noodles, right? Maggi noodles, everybody love Maggi noodles. So then they came out with the various kind of sauces and ketchups, right? So that is product development strategy. In the same market, they brought new product. That, I mean, they didn't have to spend much money in the marketing because people knew the, uh, the brand Maggi, okay? So what is market development strategy? Let's say uh, a product uh, which is related to India, let's say the the Tata Harrier, okay, Tata Motors, right? They want to expand their, uh, you know, uh, market to China, they want to sell their products in China, or let's say the Tata's, uh, you know, these cost efficient cars, they want to sell in the countries like uh, Colombia. So that right now they are not selling there. So that would be a market development strategy because they are selling their existing products. <clears throat> Let's say that Tata wants to sell their product Nexon, Tata Nexon in the Colombia, in Brazil. That would be a market development strategy, taking their existing products in the new markets. <clears throat> so taking new products in the totally new market would be a diversification strategy. Uh, a lot of Indian two wheeler manufacturers such as uh, Bajaj and Hero Honda, uh, Hero Motors, they are uh, they have adopted the strategy and they are selling a lot of new kind of bikes in the uh, in the African country. So that is diversification strategy. Okay, selling new products in the totally new markets that is diversification. Okay, so please remember the name of the strategies that would help you to answer the questions. Give it a look. Uh, pause the video and give it a look. So let's move forward. Which of the following strategy generally entails large research and development expenditure? So what is the basic, you know, why do you need to spend money on development of, uh, you know, uh, why do you need to spend money on market development or the product development, right? Because see, developing a new product costs are there, obviously, if, if the Tata wants to develop a new car, uh, a new engine costs are there even to develop a market to enter a new market marketing expenses are there. So for product development, they need for the product development, obviously, they need to spend lot more money than forward integration, market penetration, retrenchment of the divest, uh, divestiture, I don't know what is this even. So which of the following strategy entails large R&D expenses, product development, product development is an expensive affair. Which of the following strategy seeks to increase market share of the uh, present products or the services in the present market uh, through greater market marketing efforts. So market penetration, you are in the same market with the same products 
and you want to increase your sales number let's say coca cola wants to uh, increase your sales numbers in india they are already here for a, for a for decades now and everybody knows the product everybody knows the brand so if they want to increase their sales obviously they need to do uh, marketing campaigns ad campaigns so that is marketing uh, market penetration strategy the process of dividing the potential market into sub markets so that you can ta- do the targeting proper with the common needs and features is segmentation so how you can do the segmentation there are uh, four ways by which you can divide the market four ways hain first one is geographical <clears throat> so dividing the whole market between genders according to the gender 50% male 50% female according to the age groups according to the location <clears throat> so geographic demographic behavior so age gender occupation socio economic group this is all what demographic according to the location this is what geographic so somebody is from india somebody is from ludhiana these are the geographical factors so a lot of similarities is are there between physiographic psychographic and behavioral so psychographic is the features of a segment of population um who are making their choices according to their personality lifestyle attitude and class <coughs> so uh your attitude towards food i mean what kind of food do you like there are people who are going to buy just organic food that is your lifestyle that is how you are that is your lifestyle that you are going to eat organic food or you are going to eat only vegetarian food that is your lifestyle okay or your attitude toward the market right but there are some behavioral factors so whenever you go to the market for example some people every day i buy one packet of milk so it is in my mind that i'll go to a certain shop and i'll buy a half a liter of milk in a packet so that is my behavior there is a certain brand of milk that i'm buying from last 6 7 years so that is my behavior and i know what kind of uh, benefit that that i sought i'm going to use that milk to make tea okay so that is my behavior okay so rate of usage every day i'm doing it every day i'm buying milk every day i mean if some, i'm doing some things every day that is my behavior so according to the behavior loyalty status i have a loyalty towards certain brand readiness to purchase so if i am buying milk every day so i am ready to buy certain amount of milk every day so behavioral factors also affect the purchase decisions and that's how you can divide the market so how you can divide the market according to behavior so milk dividing the whole market according to the milk consumption so somebody who is uh, a family who is consuming a uh, less than 1 liter milk a day less than 1 liter milk a day 1 to 2 liter 2 to 4 liter above 4 liter so that's how you can divide the market and that's how you can do your uh, you know marketing campaign so that can affect <coughs> sorry buzz marketing what is buzz marketing so making use of uh, influencers or opinion leaders uh you can use this buzz marketing to spread the information about the products so influencers or opinion leaders you can use them to do buzz marketing so creating a buzz in the market regarding a, about a product which of the following is not the stage of product life cycle market segmentation is not so what is product life cycle i i will give you a good example of product life cycle uh let's take an example of uh, let's say airpods very very good example so airpods when they were introduced in i guess 2015 to 2016 i guess they were introduced i guess so at that point of time they were very expensive i mean everybody thought they were very expensive 10000 rupee for a pair of headphones which were generally available for free available with the phones now people need to pay for that so in 2016 they were introduced not many customers were there but they they got pace very quickly so that was a growth phase i would say 2018 se leke even till now they are 
they are at the growth stage airpods are right now at the growth stage a lot of people are buying them they are their demand is growing day by day so maturity it has not reached the maturity or the decline phase right now airpods are at growth stage how what would you say the iphones iphones right now they are at the maturity or the stabilization stage which products are at decline stage i would say macbook they are at the decline stage because general uh, usage anybody who wants to use a laptop for the general usage they are not buying laptops anymore people are buying you doing all those stuffs on their mobiles or tablets so macbooks are not really required they are at the decline stage okay so you can use your own examples of a lot of products right even i would say television sets the tvs are at the decline stage because people they have started using their phones and tablets for entertainment purposes they not many people are using tvs nowadays at least i don't in bcg matrix which business unit generates substantial cash surplus due to low industry growth rate and high profit share so cash cows are there so give it a look to the bcg matrix in bcg matrix what are stars the market growth rate is high and relative market share is also high the cash generation would all obviously be high so let's take example of apple products the market growth rate and cash generation of airpods of airpods is uh, apple's market share is high cash generation is high apple watch is also a good example that is also a example of um, uh stars so what about cash cows iphones market is not uh, growing but apple is having a huge market share so iphones are uh, cash cows for apple <coughs> what are the question marks where the growth rate is low okay uh, growth rate is low but uh, market share is uh, market share is low but the growth rate of the market is high so what is that product where the growth rate is high potential growth rate is high but the market share is low uh, i would say apple arcade apple try to dive into uh, the online gaming but apple has not been successful apple is not successful when it comes to the online gaming so they are unable to build uh, that a huge successful gaming platform sony has a control via their ps5 platform microsoft has xbox so apple tried to do with arcade apple arcade but they are not successful as of the moment so what are the dogs where the growth rate is low and the market share is low i don't think apple is having any of such products where their growth rate is low and the market share is uh, low if there is any product they are going to discontinue that anyways okay so i would say uh it's very difficult to find such product apple tv is sort of that kind of product i would say apple tv market growth rate is low and the market share of the apple tv is low okay so i i gave you good examples okay so i hope that would help you to understand so cash cows i hope you understood strategies formulated to convert a sick unit to the healthy that is a turn around strategy you are turning around the whole company to make it uh, a successful profitable business from a sick unit which of the following is not included in the five forces strategic planning is not included so a uh, degree of competition is there in the potter model threat of substitutions customers power suppliers power threat of new alternatives new entrant these are the five forces strategic planning is not uh, any part i would say marketing myopia was uh, developed by theodore levitt so what is marketing myopia marketing myopia means short sightedness in the market so what happened to uh, to kodak Kod uh, so kodak was a very successful imaging company so they used to produce they they were the market leaders uh, in the in the photography business right but they were using films when all the companies the canon the nikons they transformed their business they transferred their cameras from uh, <coughs> from uh, those film cameras to 
digital cameras the kodak didn't because they were making a lot of money from their uh, uh, papers photography papers that is why eventually the kodak uh, i mean it was thrown out by sony and the nikon now canon is, is the market leader when it comes to the digital cameras right so that is marketing myopia <clears throat> what do you mean by marketing myopia so when you are focusing on your short term goals and you are not looking at the long term vi- viability of the whole business of the whole company okay that is marketing myopia <clears throat> the kodak lost m- much of its market share to sony and canon nokia losing its marketing share to ios and uh, android and the yahoo lost its uh, uh, market to the google right let's move forward the number of product lines a company carries is called what so to understand this let's move forward first uh, you should give it this thing a look so a company produces one boots for strikers midfielders defenders and then sneakers four kind of shoes in the footwear category in the apparel category they prepare makes headwears a uh, bandana kind of you know whatever you say headwears uh, polo t-shirt jerseys jackets shorts so- socks okay socks near yeah, socks uh, equipments uh, balls bags watches so these are the various products produced by a company so what is a product depth it's four in the footwear six in the apparel four in the equipments not four it's three in the equipments okay and the product uh, length it is 13 product length it is total 13 so 4 plus 6 plus 3 13 product width so one footwear two apparel and three equipments okay so that is what product depth length and the width now let's move forward here now you can easily understand what is the product length okay so product line the let's say the company hul they are into personal care business and food and drinks business so that is what that is what that is their width uh, that is their width product mix width okay these two are, are the product lines personal care uh, product line is there and the food and drinks uh, product line is there and the depth for the soap there is lux dove life boy for the shampoos there is clear dove and the life boy so very uh, these are the product this is a product depth you go, i hope you got the product lines so what is a product line length so in the product line personal care there are shampoos there are soaps there are creams there are toothpaste so four is a is a is a, pro, is a product line length okay so this one would help you even more okay this one pro, uh, would help you even more to understand the depth the product uh, length and the product width so to the product mix length is basically the sum of all the products all, all the brands here okay so this one particularly this particular slide would help you to understand even more easy way mein samajh aa jata hai yahan pe this one can confuse you but this one is very clear so three kind of uh, products are there all these are what <coughs> uh, product lines are there okay product width three product length sum of all the products okay uh, 13 kind of products are there product depth four in footwear six in apparel and three in equipments okay so uh, that's all i guess right the number of product lines a company carries is called product mix width the number of product lines a company carries is product mix width so give it a look so here two kind of uh, uh, the product lines they are carrying the company is carrying the personal care and the food drinks that is a product mix width okay so here uh personal care is a product line food and drinks is a product line so two is a product mix width so students uh, that's i guess all for today i hope you understood the today's class if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubt that was a pretty lengthy lecture uh bank of maharashtra business development officer course 2023 is available on bankexamstudy.com 
Links are available in the description. We are providing complete video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules and live sessions on bankexamstudy.com. Go to bankexamstudy.com to, uh, to join the course. Uh, in IBPS SO Marketing 2022, all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams in 2022, 2021, 2020. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. We are really, really happy for them. So the next can be you, right? Uh, for Bank of Maharashtra, BDO exam, even for the IBPS SO Marketing exam, you can crack these exams. These exams are actually very easy. 9067201000. This is my WhatsApp number. Ask your doubts here and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's actually all for today. Subscribe the channel and like this video. That's really, really important for me. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.